Hey, what's up? It's Weird Beard back with more Valorant coverage for Valorant Masters NA happening right now throughout this entire weekend. All the details on our website, CheckpointXP.com. Right now, we are on the line with the in-game leader for the winners over 100 the Gen G's very own GMD. What's going on, man? I mean, I'm very hyped up for that win. I'm happy that we uh, revenge ourselves for them for the first time we played them. Yeah. So I'm very happy. And, and what I have to ask right out of the gate is, you know, um, it, would you consider this win an upset? Now, I know that, you know, skill-wise, you guys are both very, you know, evenly stacked. But so many people are hyped on 100 Thieves after their win at first strike. Do you can Did you consider yourselves uh, the underdogs coming in here? I think uh, they, they look better than us like for the past, let's say, three months. So I think, uh, obviously, people give them credit for that, which I can't like, really deny. Uh, the first time we played them, though, I think we should have two of them. So I don't think it was an, a, like an a upset for mm -hmm. that BO3. That, that, this one, I don't think it was an upset. But obviously, like, they've been looking good. They also have a new player, though, that uh, like I think Dicey was good for them, too. Mm -hmm. I don't think Ethan is a downgrade, but I mean, you have to, you have to adapt as well. Like, it's not because one player is better than doesn't mean that you'll be a better team right away. This going to take time. So I don't think it's an upset. I think the uh, 100 team is a big origin. I think they have a lot of supporters. So maybe sometimes, uh, I don't say it's biased, but like they have so much supporter that it's, it's tough to root against them. So Yeah, absolutely. And you guys have some changes on your squad too. Not only a new coach coming in with the addition of Kusta as well. You know, like as an in-game leader, how do you think that this team is kind of coming together? The one thing I'll really say is that you guys ran such tight mid control in not only the first map and the second map. It, it felt like you, you kind of of had the grip on the game the entire time yeah. so uh when i uh we played the first uh, bo3 we played against them uh, as i said we were up 10-2 on the first half of uh, uh set mm -hmm. and i think we i kind of over for, uh, over uh, thought the whole thing like uh the sage wall on b ascent like uh, i over thought it i thought they were doing some crazy stuff around it which which wasn't the case but mm -hmm. when you're in game uh i mean it's not the same as watching the game uh, back so yeah uh so yeah i think uh, that like mc helped me with that uh, like not overthinking too much stuff we played our game on uh in this bl3 i think it paid off so and uh, mc it was useful for that and then Trusta is a very experienced guy he's such a cool teammate as well very like uh, selfless mm -hmm. and that pays off like uh pretty much like in every situation like mid-round uh if the pressure is uh like uh, Pressure is like very like tense, and then he's gonna make a good play, make a good decision, and so that that helps me a lot for uh, the IGLing. You know, like when he makes openings or makes the right decisions, we have more info. We have like we have so much, uh, we gain so much from him. So we're yeah. very happy with both pickups. Well, I mean, he definitely must have helped in that first map. You were the top frag. As an in-game leader, that's something you usually don't see. You know what I mean? Most people are like, oh, he's the brains. He just sits in the back and everything like that. Um, you know, what is leading to your ability to not only be making these good calls, but also finding these frags in, in the middle of the game? Well, I think uh, it was my first, like, in, uh, I played, I came from CS, uh, and I didn't uh, really IGL over there. I was mostly, uh, like, an uh, entry fighter, so it was a huge, uh, you know, like, it was a huge change for me as a, as a player to IGL, and now play Omen, which is, like, more of a support role, or in the back a bit more. So I had a rough time at first, for sure, but I think, uh, like, I, I, as well, I, like, I'm french Canadian, so I used to speak uh, French in my games, etc. Now we, we're coming in English as well, so a lot of changes, for sure. But uh, right now, I'm pretty like I feel pretty confident with the team. Like everyone like steps steps up, so it makes my job as an IGL better. I mm -hmm. feel better. We gain some confidence by winning games, so it makes just my job easier, and I have less pressure on me. I know like Kusta's gonna make a good decision over there. I think I know Sean's gonna make a, a good entry there, so it makes everything just easier. So for me, I have to I can focus more more on my crosshair. So I think yeah, I think uh, being like super confident into my teammates and everything that they're doing, so it helps me a lot as an IGL. So, I focus on my, on my crosshair, but. so who do you want? Because you guys are still in this tournament. You know what I mean? Like you've knocked out 100 Thieves. They're going home. You're hopefully trying to take on the, the winner of the FaZe Clan and Sentinels here. Is there a team still in this tournament that you want a match with? I think the only thing that really like is an, an unknown factor for me, like I don't know what they're gonna bring to the table, is face line. I feel like they've been on a on a run, like they've been uh, really they're insane. cracked. <laughs> yeah, they're cracked. They're cracked. Some might say so. Uh, for me, like uh, I think the only thing that I have a big question mark over them, like I don't know if they're gonna because we had good results against them in practice, but we haven't played them in like actual weeks. So I don't know. I, I think I'm ready for everyone. I think face line is definitely the, the the unknown factor for me though. 
and uh, I'm ready for Envy, I'm ready for Sentinels, I'm ready for all of them, for sure. Awesome, and, and you know, like, while you guys have been playing, you've had a week off, essentially, between the last games that you were playing and this one today. What's the one thing that you guys worked on the most, you know what I mean, that you learned from last weekend going into this one? I think that's like, making everything more simple, like, uh, we're a good team, we've been, like, uh, and gaining some confidence, like, the game that we played, uh, vs Envy, I think it was, like, uh, I, not, I don't want to say wake up call, because I, I think we were in control of that game, but mm -hmm. we know that we can compete with literally everyone, I think Envy is the best team in NA right now, Agreed. and we competed with them, and we could have won that third map, so, like, first of all, gain some confidence, you have, uh, trust you, you trust your game plan a bit more because you're like you had a good game plan sometimes in game it doesn't go as planned but i mean the whole thing was was well uh well thought to like i think it was a good we had a good game plan so uh for a week we kind of focused on this the small things and uh we changed a bit of our, our uh a bind as well so like we were ready for everything we had a better map pool and uh yeah i mean watching them uh, simple things and uh, just, like, the, the basics basically the basics for sure well hey you know you guys are still in the tournament you still have that championship within your grasp here i'm excited to see what you guys are able to do with the rest of these matches gmd thanks so much for hanging out with us today thank you for having me